my name is sam dhanesh shekran and welcome to this database lessons video series in this video we will take a look into how to install oracle 12c in a windows 8.1 pc in the previous video we have downloaded oracle software from oracle's website and extracted everything into a single folder called winx64 underscore tall c database i am going into that folder now okay there is a subfolder called database going inside and there is a file called setup.exe i'm going to run that okay so it's starting oracle universal installer which does some preliminary checks and uh, invokes oracle installation module okay so the first screen uh, it uh, gives us an option for us to enter our email address uh, so that if we want to receive any security updates you know oracle would use that email address and send the information i'm going to skip that because i'm using this database for uh, educational and demonstration purpose only so disabling it it's complaining about that that's fine okay in this screen it gives us an option for us to enter our oracle support uh, login credentials which can be used to download uh, patches or software updates i'm going to skip that okay so here we have uh, three options one is to create and configure a database the next one is to install just the database software third one is to upgrade an existing database so let me start from the option 2 which is just to install the database software and uh, uh, as it says it will just install the database software so after that you know we can go ahead and create the database at a later point of time okay and this first option it not only installs the database software but also creates a database and this third option that can be used to upgrade an existing database so i'm going to go ahead with go with this first option create and configure a database so here we need to choose what type of machine on which in which we are installing oracle database i'm installing this in a uh, windows 8.1 pc so i'm choosing desktop class so what this will do is it will it will optimize the configuration parameters ac according to uh, a desktop pc as opposed to installing oracle in a powerful server okay and here oracle recommends as to specify an account using which the oracle services will run within windows and that account should not be an administrator this is what oracle is recommending from oracle 12c onwards uh, what i'm going to do is i'm not going to use an existing windows user i don't have many users this is a brand new uh, pc i don't have that many users and i don't want to create a new user so i'm going to go ahead and use this use windows built in account oracle might uh, complain about that but that's fine okay but in a real production scenario you know uh, you would need to go ahead with whatever oracle recommends okay so here uh, in this screen it gives us a couple of options one is oracle base uh, by default it has chosen uh, c colon slash app slash sam which is the username for this pc so that location will serve as a base for everything that gets installed on top of it for example the software gets installed in product 12.1.0 uh, slash db home which is on top of this oracle base which is c app sam okay and uh, on top of oracle base there is a it's going to create a folder called uh, ora data where the database files will be written okay i'm going to go ahead with the default value 
and only thing is i'm going to change the global database name to demo db1 okay i'm going to give a very simple string as a password okay um, it's going to complain that the password is uh, not strong but that's fine okay and i'm going to leave everything to the default value okay now it does prerequisite checks to make sure you know the system has sufficient resources for oracle to be installed so once it is done it presents us with a screen showing the options that we have selected or the options that have been selected by default so i'm fine with whatever is being displayed so i'm going to click install so right now it's going to install the software up to this point oracle database installation that's the software and next it's going to do oracle database configuration in between it might ask us to um, allow access for some uh, java files uh, but that's fine so this is what i mentioned uh, windows firewall has blocked some features of this app just click allow access you might uh, uh, need to do this couple of times that's fine so i'm going to pause the recording as it was progressing it opened this database configuration assistant window as a part of the installation and uh, it's going to create the oracle database the installation is progressing and uh, once it is done we will be presented with the output of this database configuration assistant where it lists as the the location of the log file the database name that we have given the sid name that uh, we have given um and the location of the parameter file and also the location of how to access the enterprise manager database express um uh, which is through a browser so in the next video we will uh see how to connect to the database thank you